Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? I hope you all having a wonderful day. Today, I got a great video for you. It's going to be a godlike uplink throw on Breach. Now, I spent about two hours trying to perfect this. You know, I hit it once, and then I, I, for some reason, I didn't know why I was hitting it. You know, the range, it's a really, really crazy good throw. You know, I spent, I spent like 30 minutes in theater trying to figure out how I hit it. You know, what was I looking at? All these little things. Now, the reason why this throw is so good is because, all right, so I'm going to show you two little throws before this. So you guys might know, you might not. You wall run here, you jump up here, and you just throw this one in. Now, obviously, in the middle of doing that, you're gonna put, you're gonna expose yourself here. A guy could be here who can kill you. A guy could be here and might kill you before you get it off. There's also this one that I feel like not many people know. You boost all the way up, and then you just boost up and you just throw it in. Now, the same concept, you know, as you're coming around this corner, someone's here or someone's already watching a wall run, you're gonna die. Now this is what makes this throw so godly. You do not have to expose yourself except having AC control. You throw it from right fucking here. And the main reason why I'm sharing this with you guys, like I said, I spent hours learning this to perfect it. You know, it's a really good throw and I'm not even in the league so I might as well show you guys some cool stuff. So you have to get on this AC first. Now people might ask, why can't I just go from this AC and throw it like this? Well, the main reason is, is because you will never make it. You get close. You see, it never goes inside, but you are extremely close. Now, a lot of you guys are going to go like, Apathy, then how the fuck do you get even closer? I mean, you're as high as you can be. Well, this is where the trick comes by, and it's the only way. You have to wall run this, but you see here, there's a trick to this, because you have to hit the movement perfect. So what you want to do is you want to get on top of this AC, you want to hit the wall run, and then jump off. But you got to make sure you fly high. If you don't go high enough, you're not going to be able to throw it in. And then the next thing you want to do, you see those dark clouds right there? Those dark clouds in the middle. Well, you want to aim right above it. So, like, right there. So, you're going to aim between the white and the dark clouds right in the middle. So, now let's give it a try. Boom! That should be in. Money! Now, you see what makes this throw so crazy is, like I said, the area you are in. And the fact that it's going over the whole building. Now, that's insane. Let's be real, guys. That is fucking insane. When I first found out this throw, you know, it was crazy. But it's going to take you a little bit of time to kind of master it. You know, I can do it almost every time now. Now, that was going in. You see how, like, I can tell when it's not going to go in because of the movement. Like, I, I, I barely was that high. When you hit the wall run perfect, you're going to fly really high. And then that's when you know. So what you want to do again to make sure you got it is you're going you're gonna to jump on this wall. You're going to wall run and then jump. But you see... Like, the way get, the movement has to hit is you have to, like, jump off the wall, like, a quick little jump, and then boost. Right there, I wasn't able to jump off the wall. I don't know why it keeps doing that to me. You see, it's not taking me high enough. I'm barely touching the, going over the ACs. You got to make sure you go really high. There we go. That's money. That's fucking high. Fucking money, baby. Money! This is a really good throw. It's very, very good. I mean, obviously, you can just do this sometimes. And, you know, it takes a couple more seconds. You're more out in the open. But there's times where maybe there's like five seconds left. The teammate's like, pass it to me, green AC. Pass it me to the AC. There's like eight seconds left on the clock. And you're like, holy shit, pass it me, pass it me. And this is the only way to tie. You don't have enough time to go around. You just do this, do that. That's money again. Bam. You fucking win it. You tie it for the buzzer beater. Now, this is a really good throw to know. Think about it. So, if you guys really like this video, make sure you practice. I would recommend using Afterburner to practice it. Because you really want to do that. You see how easy it is? Like, I'm doing it every time now. This is legit my fourth time in a row. I'm just cutting the video, but I've done it four times in a row. It's really easy once you get a hang of it. I've mastered it. I mastered it. So, I pretty much want to do it every time. That makes it very beneficial for me. But, basically, what you want to do is you want to get on this wall. You want to wall run and then jump very high. See right there? I was high enough to do it. You got to make sure that you wall run this. And you got to make sure you have enough boost to jump high. You don't want to use your full boost meter. You only want to use half. <clears throat> not even half you see like i use like almost one third like almost one third of it a little bit a little bit more like 40 45 percent but you want to use that and then jump very high now i'm hitting the wall run every time but that's how you know you're gonna fail when you do this when you do this if you if you don't pass the ac like that's the best way to get it if you don't pass this ac you're not gonna make it over you gotta make sure you get high enough See, that's a little bit higher. I probably would have made it right there. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this cool uplink throw video. I, I wanted to share with you guys because why not? I'm not even in the league, like I said. Next thing I might want to do is how to perfect the G-slide. I saw some people do videos on it, and I feel like they explained it pretty well, but at the same time, they didn't explain it as good enough. I feel like there's a big thing that they're missing out. So 
uh, I don't know, leave some likes this video. If you guys really want to see how to perfect the G-Slide, to hit it almost every single time, I will definitely, I could definitely do a video. I haven't missed it once right now. I'm really good at it now. And yeah, I kind of taught my team how to do it too when we were trying to figure it out. So this has been your boy Afti. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like for this awesome throw. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.